Hey guys, how's it going? Josh from LiveCA Chartered Accountant at www.liveca.ca. Uh, the CRA actually allows you to do a number of things online, like change your address or sign up for direct deposit, uh, check your notice of assessments or tax returns from prior years, uh, and all this using the CRA's My Account portal. So let's take a look at my screen and I'll show you guys how to sign up. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick Google search here for My Account CRA, just got to spell that right, CRA individual. And it should be the first one that comes up here. Uh, so you'll see here's the, here's the page, My Account for Individuals. And you'll see here that there's two ways to sign up. Uh, one is with a standard username and password, and that's the CRA login. And the other one is with the sign-in partner login, and that's using another portal like your online banking. Uh, I prefer the CRA login. It's a lot simpler with just a username and password, and I find the sign-in partner login to be a bit more complicated. So let's go and register for a new uh, CRA username and password. So to do that, uh, you're going to have to enter your SIN here, your nine-digit SIN. Uh, so I'm not going to do that now, but I'll just show you the next screen. Uh, once you do that, it will have your SIN on your top uh, there when you scroll up. Uh, and it's going to ask you a few details of your, of your prior year return. So you'll see, just add, put your, your date of birth here. You'll put your postal code. Uh, and then it's going to ask you here, uh, in this case, the amount entered in line 121 of your 2011 return. Uh, and you're going to get that information from either the notice of assessment that you've got in the mail uh, or your, your tax return from that year that you got from your accountant. Uh, if you have a PDF, uh, you know, an, an e-version of it somewhere on your desktop, uh, that's where you'll get the info. The good news is, is that once you register for my account, you won't have to worry about this stuff because it will all be in the system online. Uh, so once you do this and you click continue, it won't let me go through this with, uh, now obviously, um, then you're going to go through some more steps and you'll be uh, given the CRA security code, which is actually going to come by snail mail, regular physical mail, Canada Post, to your house. Uh, and that is going to have a security code and you're, ha you're going to have to input that security code um, into your account. So next time you log in with your CRA username and password that you're going to create in the next screen, um, you'll just have to put that security code in. And that's, I guess, their, their additional security so that you know, the actual person that registers um, you know, is, is really that person. Uh, and I'll just show you the screen that actually, this is what it really looks like, the whole system. Um, there is a welcome page that says, uh, you know, what your last tax return balance is. And you can see you've got past tax return, uh, past tax returns here. You've got, um, you know, accounts and payments. You can check uh, different benefits, your RSP limit. Um, you can change your address. Um, you can sign authorized representative, uh, arrange my direct deposit. So tons of different services that you can do that there is online, uh, CRA's my account. Um, so register and uh, you'll be given access to this whole host of services and uh, should make your lives a lot easier. Thanks and hope this helped.